Ow! Are you sure they're done? <laughs> You're not supposed to eat the shells, Norman. Only the inside, like this. <gasps> oh. Mm, they're nice, actually. Sarah and James helped Charlie collect them up along the shore. I collected more than Sarah. Yeah, because you had the lucky bucket and you took my mussels too. No, I found them on the beach. After I dropped my bucket? <laughs> That's what happens when you have the lucky bucket. <laughs> Do you think I could go collecting mussels with you one day? I could take you all out this afternoon, if you like, when the tide goes down. <laughs> These jaws of life are brilliant, Sam. <laughs> I hope I get to use them in a real-life emergency situation one day. Well, the next time we need them, I promise I'll let you operate them, Elvis. They might come in handy the next time you burn the Sunday roast. Mike, help is at hand. We'll have you out in no time. Elvis, wait! What are you doing? You promised I could use the jaws of life the next time we needed them. But we don't need them. All we need to do is move this wood and open the door. Oh, thanks, Sam. I was starting to wonder if I'd ever get out. Oh, come on, you two. All the buckets are exactly the same. Dad, no! Whoever has the lucky bucket always collects the most. How can a plastic bucket be lucky? Lots of things can be lucky, Charlie. Like this lucky stone. Uh, maybe I should take the lucky bucket so there won't be any arguments. OK, Norman. That's a great idea. Well, Norman's never had a turn with the lucky bucket before. <laughs> I bet I collect more than Sarah and James put together. <laughs> hmm. I don't think this bucket is lucky at all. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Aha! Shame we're not collecting crabs today, Norman. Here, let me. The mussels cling to the rock, see? You just have to give them a little twist. Dad! James is trying to take my mussels! I'm not! Oh, uh... Honestly, you too. Give it a rest. <laughs> this bucket really is lucky. Only because Dad gave you all our muscles. It's not a competition. We're all working together. What are you up to now? Nothing, ma'am. Nothing? With my broom? 
And that's one of my good blankets. Mom, I need that. I'm going camping. How am I going to make a tent without a broom and blanket? Camping? Oh, Norman, camping is dirty, dangerous and... Camping is great fun. Oh, hello, Trevor. I didn't see you there. I love camping. The great outdoors, fresh air, beautiful nature. I used to be a Boy Scout, you know. Oh, really? I bet you look very smart in your uniform. <laughs> right, men and woman. It's springtime again, and we all know what that means, don't we? Flowers? No, Cridlington. It means campers, hikers and picnickers. And with them comes a greater risk of fires. Forest fires, grass fires. Each type of fire requires special techniques and special tools. <laughs> like floppy shovels. <laughs> That's a beater, Elvis, for smothering grass fires. Tell me, Norman, have you ever slept out in a real tent or cooked supper on a real campfire? Yeah, of course I have. Loads of times. No, you haven't. You wanted to sleep out in the garden once, but you came in again when it got dark. Oh, Mum, I was only three. <laughs> Norman, I was just wondering if you'd like me to take you camping sometime. Yes, you bet I would. That would be brilliant. OK, well, if you're that keen, how about this weekend? Oh, my, Trevor, that sounds wonderful. Sitting out under the stars can be so aromatic. I can't wait. But I... Oh, yes, I love the great outdoors. No, you don't, Mum. I wonder if you realise what you're letting yourself in for, Trevor. I'll have you know, I'm a very experienced camper, Sam. I know how to light a campfire safely. I used to be a Boy Scout. <laughs> I'm sorry, Trevor. I didn't mean to question your camping skills. I meant, uh, Norman Price. Oh, I see what you mean. Norman, come and help me with my suitcases. Oh, I wish he didn't have to come too. <laughs> Have fun, everybody! Perhaps I should give Mountain Rescue a call, just to be on the safe side. Camping can be very dangerous, ma'am. Uh, you'll need to keep a lookout for wild cats for a start. Wild cats? Uh, of course, you don't have to stay if you don't want to, ma'am. Don't listen to Norman. There aren't any wild cats on Ponty Pandy Mountain. There could be. What about escaped zoo animals that have gone back to the wild? Don't be silly. I, I saw a story on telly about a ferocious lion that was roaming the hills for years. At night, you could hear it roar. Maybe we should come near the bus. OK. Uh, you can do that if you like. Or, or you could ask Trevor to take you home again. In the meantime, I'm going to find a good camping spot. Uh, uh, don't worry about me. I know how to handle a wild lion. Norman! Wait! It's only Norman. Oh, thanks a lot, Trevor. Come on, ma'am. We better start collecting firewood. Oh, honestly, Dillis, there really is nothing to be frightened of. The biggest danger in the woods is people, the most likely cause of forest fires. F forest fires? Yes, that's why I'm building the campfire so carefully. No! Oh! Once, some campers didn't realise that the woods were on fire until the flames reached their tents. <laughs> uh, no, Sam, no signs of trouble at the moment. Well, I just wanted to let you know that Trevor is camping up there tonight with Norman Price. <laughs> OK, Sam, uh, point taken. I'll keep an eye out. Oh! Go. I think that's just about hot enough to cook on now. All we need is the pot and something to put in it. Oh, fire! Forest fire! The trees are on fire! Oh, no! Uh, ow! Uh, come on! Uh, everyone back to the bus! No! Dennis! This way! Norman? Norman! Norman Price! 
nice. I have a job for you. Ooh, hello, Norman. Where are you off to in such a hurry this morning? Ah, uh ha! -huh. There you are. Oh, thanks, Bronwyn. He nearly got away. <laughs> OK, Mike, here's a list of the jobs you need to remember to do. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Don't worry, Mum. I look after Dad. Ha ha, very funny. What? Helen? This can't be right. Bye, Mum. Have fun on your course. There are a lot of jobs in this house, Norman Price. You can't expect me to do everything. You can pick up your dirty clothes and put them in the laundry basket for a start. But uh, I'm not even sure what the laundry basket looks like. It's in the bathroom under the sink. I've never noticed it. This, Norman Price, is the laundry basket. Oh, but uh, how does it open? Like this. Oh, but um, how do you put clothes into it? <laughs> oh, I think you can work that out. And I expect you to take the basket down to the cellar and put a wash on today. But, Mum! I've tidied my room, made my bed and washed the dishes, which means my jobs are done. Fancy doing a little bit of ironing then, sweetheart? No thanks. I'm meeting up with Norman to go Good. skateboarding. Are you all right down there, Norma? There are a lot of dirty clothes. I think you'll have to put on two washes. No, I won't. <laughs> there we go. You to be back in time to put the second wash on. Oh, man. <laughs> Morning, Elvis. Lovely day. <laughs> Morning, Dillis. I'm looking for a mop. Shh. Listen, Elvis. Can you hear that? Oh, yes. Sounds kind of like a waterfall. Or maybe... The washing machine. Oh, I wish I was a nurse. Then I could go away on a training course and I wouldn't have to do any ironing. Yes, Doctor, you're right. This shirt has a serious case of button-itis. It's going to be a very fiddly operation. <laughs> Nurse Flood, emergency room. Helen, what's happened to your voice? Is Mike there? <laughs> no, it's me. Oh, Mike, come quickly. Norman has broken the washing machine. Say no more, Dillis. I'm on my way. I knew I'd have work to do. Just trying out my new mop, Penny. And I'll have you know that I've decided to walk forward so there won't be any more accidents. No, but there will be footprints. Huh? Why does mopping have to be so complicated? I'll have to order a new belt for your washing machine, Dillis. You must have overloaded it. It wasn't me. It was Norman. Now you know why I never ask him to do anything. <laughs> yeah, see you, Dillis. Hello. Hi, Mike. Norman! Oh, what now? I did the washing. No, you broke the washing machine. Oh, 
So now you need to ask Mike very nicely if you could wash our dirty clothes in his machine. What? <laughs> but uh, oh. Have fun, Norman. I wonder if Sarah and James want to go skateboarding. For the long lines E to F and G to H to lift the wingtips, and there we are. Flying Ace Norman Price is ready to kick to the skies! Ah, oh, hello, Dillis. Fireman Sam, watch this! We haven't got time for any of your shenanigans now, Norman Price. It's Fire Prevention Day, and Fireman Sam and I have a lot of work to do. Come in, Station Officer Steele. Never mind my Norman. Sorry, Norman. Maybe you can show me some other time. Nothing to worry about, Dillis. This is just a routine check to make sure the supermarket is fire safe. That's what Fire Prevention Day is all about. Um, it's safety. Uh, Station Officer Steele, would you mind steadying the stepladder while I check the smoke alarm? Of course, Sam. Safety first. Do you test your smoke alarms regularly, Dillis? Oh, yes. Very regularly. Oh! What's that? Terrible noise! That's the oh, test, Dillis! Oh, to show that the smoke noise. alarm is working. Oh. Great fires of London! Oh. What was that? A bat! Oh! And it's caught in my ear! Oh! Oh, <laughs> get rid of it! Oh, oh ma'am! Norman oh. Price! That's terrible! Oh, no. Help! Help! Stiff up a lip, Dillis! I'll get it! It's not actually a bat! <gasps> It's a beauty. Oh, Station Officer Steele, you're too kind. <laughs> what? Uh, no, when I said beauty, I meant, um... If uh, you two are quite finished, shall we check the fire exit? Well, that exit seems to be working. No, Station Officer Steele is no fun at all. There must be somebody around here who'd enjoy a good air show. Uh, everything seems to be in order, Dillis, but you do need to be careful about storing empty boxes and waste packaging. Paper and cardboard can be a real fire hazard. Well, I think you've both been very helpful. The least I can do is offer you a cup of tea. Um, uh, uh, no, 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 thank you, uh, Mrs. Price. I really think Sam and I should be on our way now. Uh, we have a lot of calls to make. Uh, huh? Ow! Where uh, did that come from? <laughs> Norman Price! Huh? Oh, not him again! Come here! I thought it was Fire Prevention Day, not Follow Norman Price Day. But at least I know one place I won't bump into Station Officer Steele. <laughs> Who ever heard of preventing fires at a fire station? <laughs> is going to be the best one yet. Flying Ace Norman Price is back in business. Now to find someone who appreciates aeroplanes. A chop pop, a teeter pop, I love stew. A slip slop, a peely pop, yes I do. A bee pop, a carrot top, check it in two. I got to get my teeth in something to chew. Thank you very much. Uh, what brings you into my kitchen today, Norman Price? Nothing. I mean, I wanted to show you something. Something really cool. <laughs> you can't pull the wool over my eyes, Norman Price. I know exactly what you're up to. You do? Yes. I know how much you love carrots. What? <laughs> Stay away from that cooker. Out of my kitchen. Go on, out. Uh, out. But I, no, I, I just... But... It, oh, uh, but I, 
A cheap pop, a kid pop, I love stew. A cheap pop, a pita pop, yes I do. A bee pop, a cattle chop, chicken too. I gotta keep my teeth in something to do. And your brother Sam climbed up and rescued him, Charlie. Sam's our hero, isn't he, Lion? Firemen are very brave. What about fishermen? Fishermen are brave too. Oh, of course you are. Mwah. Yay, Dad! You're our hero. Yes, well, uh, I suppose I should go to work now and catch us all some fish. Sarah! James! Hey, you, Sarah! you, you two, listen, want to be in a movie? Worry, I'm coming. Everything's under control. Give us a shot. No one is as good as you. You're so pretty and you're so strong and fantastic. Why can't I be the hero? Because I'm the star of this movie. I thought of it first. Charlie, are you all right? Hey, uh, uh, no. I mean, yes. Uh, just going. Uh, Bye, Bronwyn. I've got a great idea for my costume. Wait down here. I'll be right back. Is that you, Norman? I'm in the shower. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. Ta-da! What's that supposed to be? It's my costume. I'm a superhero! Oh, what happened to the bathroom curtain? Norman? <laughs> yes, this is perfect. Um, Sarah can be in trouble and I come to her rescue. Uh, uh, ready and... Oh, I'm supposed to say that. After all, it's my camera. Oh, come on, Mandy. You can't do everything. Okay, okay. Action! Oh, I'm going to leave you here so the seagulls can finish you off. Mwahaha! Mwahaha! James! Save you! Hang on! Norman Man! <laughs> help! 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 Somebody help me! Come on, Norman Man! We're waiting! Help! Somebody help me! Help! 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 Stay where you are, Sarah! Uh, Fisherman Charlie is coming. Help! 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 Somebody help me! <sighs> okay, I'm ready now. I'm not. We need to start the camera again. Oh! Is somebody coming to rescue me or not? I'm coming, Sarah. I'm coming. Oh! Ah! Oh. Uh. <laughs> I'm stuck, Sarah. Help! Never fear. Norman Man's here. Norman, stop messing about. You're not really a superhero. <laughs> I'm going back to call Fireman Sam. <laughs> Somebody hurt on the beach! There's somebody hurt on the beach, Sam. Sounds like a Coast Guard job. You better get down to the right boat with Penny.
What happened here? such a racket. That all sounds very exciting, but you need to be careful. Certain paths are closed because the cliffs are crumbling, so look out for any signs and obey them. We will. Maybe we should take Radar with us, Sam. After all, he is a rescue dog. OK, Mandy. I'm sure Radar would love that. Come on. Shush, Radar. Will you scare away all the golden eagles before Norman does? Hello, Tom. Looks like you've got a proper little animal hospital up here. <laughs> Mountain rescue's not just for people, you know. Oh, this little patient's on the mend, though. About time you went back to the wild, eh, mate? I just met Mandy and Norman out hunting for a golden eagle. <laughs> They're not very likely to find one of them around here. <laughs> I know, but try telling that to Norman Price. He always thinks he knows best. Golden Eagles? You probably scared all the Golden Eagles away. No, I didn't. I know what I'm doing. This must be where the path is closed. We better go back. Nonsense, Mandy. Look at the path. Can't you see it's okay? What's wrong with Rida? Maybe he senses danger. Ugh. Don't be so silly. He's a dog. A rescue dog? Fetch, Radar. Fetch. <laughs> See? Radar doesn't think we should go past the sign. Dogs can't even read, Mandy. I know what I'm doing. We'll be able to see if the path isn't safe. Come on, Mandy. This is the best place to find eagles. They like resting in remote places. Look! <laughs> <laughs> Off you go, mate. Come on now, mate. Stop falling about. You need to get back to the wild where you belong. Shoo! <laughs> you must have been feeding it too well, Tom. Shoo! <laughs> Leaping wallabies, not again! <laughs> That bird really likes it here, Tom. Uh, mountain rescue's not just for people, you know. <laughs> help! 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 It's no use, Mandy. Nobody can hear you way out here. What about Charlie? He's too far away, Mandy. There's no way he can hear you. Radar? And who's that with him? Oh, no! Emergency? Which service do you require? Oh, um... Uh, 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 Fireman Sam, please! Mm. 
Norman Price trapped on the cliffs. Uh, ooh, this sounds like a job for Mountain Rescue.